All right, I've got another new addition for Profi OS 6 that I wanted to share. Um, so um, originally when I was doing the uh, color editing um, in one of the early iterations, I actually had included uh, spoken sounds for red, green, and blue. Um, and those were built in, but we ended up, uh, through testing, ended up finding better ways to do the colors. Um, and we ended up getting away from it. And then recently I had seen a post on the TRA, um, I think from Melissa, about having colors actually spoken. Um, so I kind of took the original idea of just saying red, green, and blue, and now because we've added the color list, which are predetermined colors that you rotate through, um, I've actually included it. So now uh, when you use the color list for either color change or for color editing, um, we can actually have the names of those colors spoken. Um, and the nice thing is, well, with my prop file, I've got 26 predefined colors. Uh, some of them are the existing named colors, but then I have other colors that are, are custom colors that I've built in, uh, like indigo, purple, a deep purple, uh, silver, gold. Um, so those will also now be spoken, and they're pre-programmed. So those are colors that have kind of been missing from the named uh, group. So um, thanks to Brian Connor for making the new sounds to go along with this. Um, but this will be an option, so it's not, um, if you don't want it, you don't have to have it. Um, but for those who want to have the colors actually spoken um, as you rotate through them, or for those who need it, um, it's now going to be available with the uh, Profi OS 6 update. So um, it works the same in both color editing if you use color list, uh, or, and also color change mode if you're using color list. Um, so I'll do it in the color change mode first. So I'll go into that. So we have a little pause, that's because it's loading the full color list. Um, and now as I rotate, it's going to say each of the colors. Um, and I'll let the saber do the talking. Red. Orange red. Dark orange. Orange. Gold. Yellow. Magenta Deep Pink Silver Glacier Ice White Light Cyan Moccasin Lemon Chiffon Navajo White And then back around and we'll save. So um, the colors like the indigo, the purple, the deep purple, the silver, the gold, um, and then uh, ice blue, ice white, um, those are custom colors. And then all the other colors, particularly towards the end, so you had the lemon chiffon, you had the Navajo white, you had the moccasin, uh, those are white mixes um, that are included in the color list. Those would be ideally used for um, your blast and your clash effects. Um, but you could also obviously use them for the main blade, um, but I wanted to kind of show that. So now all of the color lists, so there's 26 colors, they're all spoken if you enable it. Um, and then we'll go into color editing. So we're going to go into edit mode. Edit mode. Edit style. Edit color. So edit color. Color menu. Color options. So I'll choose the option. Select effect. Base color. So I'm going to do the base color because that'll be a full blade. Select option. Color list. And then again, we're going to use the color list. So the other, adjusting the color U, adjusting white, adjusting black, we can't actually say the color because where you start and where you change is too much for the saber to understand. But the color list is predetermined, so that's why we're able to speak them. So now I'm in color list. Red. Orange red. Dark orange. Orange, gold, yellow, green, yellow, green, aquamarine, cyan, 
deep sky blue, Georgia blue, blue, ice blue, indigo. So like indigo is a custom color. Purple. Purple's custom. Deep purple. Deep purple custom. Magenta. Deep pink. Silver. Silver is a custom. Glacier. Glacier is a custom. Ice white. Ice white's a custom. So you have all these additional colors Ice, that are built in, and now they'll be spoken for you. Moccasin. Lemon chiffon. Navajo white. White. Red. Back to red. Save color options. So, and then, um, so that's going to now be available. And again, that's optional. So you'll have to obviously have the sounds for the colors, um, which, uh, again, thanks to Brian, we have. Um, and you'll have to add a define to have that option. If you don't use the spoken colors, it just does the, the little noise. There's an up and down noise in the menu. Um, but then, in addition to that, I've also made one other change. So I'm going to back up in the menu. Cancel select effect. Cancel color menu. Cancel main menu. And I'm going to go edit font, edit track, edit settings. I'm going to go to edit settings. Select option, edit volume, edit style settings, edit control settings, edit clash threshold, edit blade length. So edit blade length. I've actually added so you can know the number of pixels. 125. 122. And with the blade length, there's a white pixel that flashes at the end. 123. 124. Maximum setting. So maximum setting is 125 pixels, and I actually have one pixel longer on the other side. That's why there's a little bit of a white there. So I'm going to save it. Save settings menu. Edit so threshold. let me cancel this. Cancel main menu. Exit. So those are just two new additions, um, just to add even more to the menu system. Um, so the ability, um, so the spoken uh, pixel count is built into the tool uh, for the menu for blade length uh, now, and then the color list, the spoken colors, will now be an option that you will enable. Um, so uh, lots of uh, stuff going on uh, behind the scenes, but uh, we're moving closer. Uh, took some big steps. Um, Frederick's doing some work. Uh, I've, done, I've got a little bit more added. Um, but uh, just wanted to show this because I did see the request on TRA, um, and I did kind of that kind of brought this back up. Um, I originally had it in early iterations with just red, red, green, and blue, but uh, now with the color list, it even made even more sense. So um, just wanted to share, but uh, we're getting close. So uh, uh, hopefully uh, sooner than later. But uh, just wanted to share. So hope you enjoy.